Sir Oliver Letwin, a Tory MP, has said that no act of Parliament could ever lead to a pause or reversal of Brexit, despite controversial moves from Conservative rebels this week. The former cabinet minister played down the parliamentary defeat for the government over Brexit, which he said amounted to a fuss over nothing. Speaking to BBC Radio 4 yesterday programme, the MP also revealed how he brokered a deal to avoid a second rebellion this week. Sir Oliver has tabled an amendment to the EU withdrawal bill with backing from both Tory rebels and Brexiteers, which would enable Theresa May to reach a compromise with her party's vocal mutineers. Get to Theresa May has headed off a second rebellion in the space of a week. The amendment keeps the Brexit date of March 29, 2019, on the bill, while also allowing Parliament to vote to change the official Brexit. Exit day if negotiations with Brussels overrun. Sir Oliver said he was absolutely confident his amendment would be passed when put to a vote next Wednesday. He told Nick Robinson the deal means that ministers could get a slight extension if they needed it, but MPs cannot give them extra time without the request of the government. That decision lies with the ministers, not Parliament. Article 50 is in the hands of the UK government and the EU governments, not MPs. IGTHE compromise follows Mrs May's first Commons Brexit defeat earlier this week it was really just a fuss over nothing Sir Oliver Letwin the compromise follows Mrs May's first Commons Brexit defeat earlier this week when MPs voted to give Parliament a legal guarantee of a vote on the final Brexit deal struck with Brussels. However, despite claims of victory by the Tory rebels, Sir Oliver said this would not stop the EU withdrawal process. When quizzed about the parliamentary defeat, he was clear I don't think the vote has any impact. It doesn't affect the negotiations, no act of parliament can do that. It was really just a fuss over nothing, and I was trying to avoid the second occurrence of that this time.